have rebuilt Flint, Michigan's water system 215 times over again. We could have given every single homeless veteran $2 million. $2 million! We could have given every single family that was impacted by the Maui wildfires $50 million each. With their generations, the, the information is more accessible. So mm -hmm. when we were young, there's no internet. So yeah. you don't know, you don't know what's going on in Flint, Michigan, unless you watch the news. Whereas now you can hear stuff. And he was talking about the Maui fires. Well, you got people down at ground zero in Maui saying, you know, this don't look right, or this is this, or this is that. So the information is more accessible, number one. All right, video number three, man. Do keep it real on the $165 billion that America spent on Ukraine and what they could have done with the money instead. Let's go. $165 billion is what U.S. taxpayers have sent to Ukraine to fund this pointless war. And I got some facts for you. With $165 billion, we could have built the border wall six times over to stop illegal immigration. We could have rebuilt Flint, Michigan's water system 215 times over again. We could have given every single homeless veteran $2 million. $2 million! We could have given every single family that was impacted by the Maui wildfires $50 million each. And I think this is the craziest one. We literally could have ended homelessness in the United States all homelessness eight times over again. The point I'm trying to make here is that if we had elected officials that actually cared about us, the United States, more than they cared about the Middle East, we could fix so many issues that we have here at home. But no, we'll just keep sending it to Ukraine. I mean, like yeah. I get his point. <laughs> and that's the first thing I think of is like, wait a minute, is Flint, Michigan water even clean yet? And how many years no, has it been? No, still not. Still not. And how many still years not. has it been? A lot. Yeah. And let's think about, okay, New Orleans. Remember, they had that whole flood? Like, did they ever fix that? You're talking about the, the, the dams. Right. Yeah. Like, come I, on. Uh, you know, listen, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't like talking politics, but I'm going to talk this. I'm going to speak this right here. Okay. Talk that <laughs> shit. You know, I'm going to talk that shit, man. <laughs> the Democrats are starting to realize that us Americans aren't as dumb as we think, especially the blacks. We aren't as, as dumb as they think. You know what I mean? Because for years, they've been pulling the wool over our eyes, especially us blacks. Thanks to COVID. For years. If it wasn't for COVID, it for seemed years. like we had to find ourselves. Not, no, I, I, don't, I think it's because of the younger generations are more into politics well, than, than the older generation were. Number one, with their generations, the, the information is more accessible. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when we were young, there's no internet. So yeah. you don't know, you don't know what's going on in Flint, Michigan, unless you watch the news. Whereas now you can hear stuff. And he was talking about the Maui fires. Well, you got people down at ground zero in Maui saying, you know, this don't look right. Or this is this, or this is that. So the information is more accessible, number one. And then number two, it's like, it seems like we have more people that we can reach out to who are going to give us the truth. Yes. And that's where it was missing, where you only, you know, if you if it's like think the world it, is at our fingertips. You didn't Sam. know who, like when, when I was young, who was the mayor? Uh, oh, Wilson gosh. Good was the mayor when I was born. Uh, Ed Rendell was the mayor when I was young. Like, I don't know nothing about that, man. Yeah. But where yeah. now you can get all the information. So just having more information is, is exposing us to like, wait, y'all can give $165 billion to Ukraine. <laughs> It's three hundred thirty. But where's our money? It's three hundred thirty-two million people in the United States, and I can guarantee fifty percent of them don't know where Ukraine is on the map. <laughs> they <laughs> can't even tell you. So Shit. it's like we giving I money. To I don't even know where Ukraine. We giving money to a place where we don't even know exists. Hey, where were you doing history class? Probably the same place where I was. It's like <laughs> I was, I was in the bathroom. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute, yeah, no, I, I wasn't in the bathroom. Yeah. I wasn't in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I was, in the, I was in the bathroom getting my smooch on. <laughs> well, I wasn't. I went to an all boys high school, so <laughs> oh, I hope you weren't in the bathroom. <laughs> I totally agree with you, CJ. And now the information is more accessible. You know what I mean? So all of the lies and the BS that, that they have been feeding us for years, it isn't flying anymore. It isn't mine. 
and now especially when they pass they so called passed I don't is it a law that illegal immigrants can now vote on the state level but not a federal level. That's the reason why they open up the borders for, for all of these illegal immigrants or right. migrants. Right. Come on, man. It's all a ruse, man. Get out of here with that BS, man. Yeah. We're one of the few countries where, not few, it's a lot of them, but we're one of those countries where we, we're called the United States, but we're not united. But we're not united. Like, but you know what? Yes. Kelly, she's she talking about something. What about the reparations? Like, that, that's an interesting topic because yeah, nah, especially, nah, yeah. especially when it comes to our our race, they don't acknowledge it. And when I say they, because I, I don't want to be racist because I'm not, but they, we already know no what racist. we're talking about. <laughs> they. they don't want to acknowledge what, what is what is due what, to us. Or what has happened. or Exactly. or what. Ha- well, so this is the thing. They know what the hell happened. No, yeah. they don't. They, they do. Some of them. They, but, they're just in denial. Come on. The stuff has been documented so well. It's been documented so well, like pictures and videos and all that don't lie. So, you know, but Mm -hmm. to them, it's like, okay, why should we, why should we have to suffer or pay for something that our ancestors did? But yet and still, we're suffering for it. We still are to this day. But the thing about, think about it like this. Stuff that's not relevant to you, you don't look at. So the, to them, it's not relevant to them. So they don't, they really don't know. They just be like, oh, wow. Because they don't have, why would I need to study some stuff that, D- didn't there's no it didn't hurt me so it's like but, yeah but you know that, let me ask this so everyone else seems to have gotten reparations except for us yeah you know what i mean the, the jews the, the, the japanese the japanese all yeah all of them so do they d- does that mean they don't consider us citizens or a- even just acknowledge our our race they don't acknowledge us period. Well, exactly well well number one but yet and still they acknowledge us when it comes to us helping the, helping them build their businesses <laughs> I think that the reason why they don't do it is because they don't they don't feel like what reason do we have to do it like like the 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 one thing about like those other communities as the Jewish community make- what they'll do is okay y'all don't want to y'all don't want to give us what we're due we'll just create our own ecosystem yeah. right and we won't even share with y'all and we'll create our own everything the Japanese think about but it but I also blame I also blame us because you know what when it comes to when it comes to that, the African Americans, we still rely on them to an extent. Oh. <laughs> to an extent, because yeah. you got some people that, that I believe it's more than an extent. Yeah, and and that's the sad part because it's like, okay, at what point do we let go of the nipple? What, at what point do we stop saying, okay, you know what, I don't want to breastfeed off of off of this you know society anymore mm-hmm. and just go on and do what I need to do? Yes, that's what I was saying. You know, since COVID, yes, some people have been. Has has waken up like really have, but at the end of the day, you have some people that's just like, no, you know what? I'll just take that free money. Ignorance is bliss. I just take that free money. You know, is is it is what it is. If I could just sit home and just do this and no, but it's like okay, you have to think about the future, and a yeah. lot of people aren't doing that. They're just thinking about the now, which is nothing wrong with that. But what about the building? Yeah. Oh, you're 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 helping them build their their generations but what about building for yourself and your own generations and that's what we're not doing yeah i and i agree good you know i'm just saying like it it's 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 a multi-layered situation so like it would take us probably a whole two hours to go through all the different layers but to sum it up yeah we have to start creating community like if you ever if you ever think about like Mm -hmm. you know they say words have power when we were growing up, you'd be like, oh, what neighborhood you from? What neighborhood? Whereas now we say hood. We didn't took the neighbor part <laughs> off. Yeah, words have power. Ain't no, yeah. no, Ain't no more neighborhood. Look, oh, words wow. have power, but actions have even more power. Yeah, but so. they start out as words, and, and then you put action behind mm-hmm. them. You don't even know your neighbors. You used to know your whole block. For 10, 15 years now. First of all, man, these days everybody is is shady. You there's no community. We don't have a sense of community. There, there, there is no no community. You have to, That's how you start. If you it go seems to the like little, everybody only want to get to know you because they only want to be in your business. If you know those, if you look at those other little what they call third world countries, those people stick together. They will not. If, if they're uh, like their holy day is on a Monday, and the government tries to make them work. The whole country, or or the whole now that whole community, they will be outside and saying we not working on Monday until the government be like, all right, you know what? All right, we gonna change it. Y'all, y'all ain't gotta go to work. Like, there's no again. Yeah, marches is we cool. We can march all yeah. day long. We can march. We've been marching forever. 
And what has March and changed? We have to change our way of protesting. I've always said, and I truly believe this, there isn't a thing as racism. Now there is racism, but there isn't a thing as racism. I always believe that it's placism. You know what I'm saying? Know your place. Cause you cannot tell me that if you have a rich, you have got a, I say brother, got a rich brother and a rich white man, ain't no racism between them. I can, I can, I ain't no racism cause <laughs> they both rich. I, I have to disagree and, and I'll give you an example. One of our richest black brothers, and he don't really claim us that much, but he's one of our brothers. He said claim us. <laughs> his name is one Tiger Woods. Mm. And when he crashed his car in Florida and got, well, I guess he was That's drunk because he learned the hard way. But it's about places. If you look at his, his rap sheet when he got arrested, what did it say on the bottom? Ethnicity, race, black. They didn't call him Kabbalah and Asian, all the other BS that he came with. Because at the end of the day, you're a black man that did some BS. Yeah. Right. That's how they see it. That's racism. <clears throat> because his money didn't allow him to get any sympathy. They didn't care that he was a billionaire golfer. They didn't care that he, you know, introduced a sport to most people that they didn't even know. They don't see, care about none of that. See, he was black. Where is see, Tiger? He was that's wrong. because where that's is because, Tiger right now? Oh, still playing, I know. I'm see, just see, that's tried. because where Tiger messed up was he was messing with a white woman. First now I say ain't nothing wrong. First of but all, but that's where Tiger messed up. Yeah, and still, because, <laughs> and you him know being he white. half. You know that's half of his nationality, right? Like you know he's half white. No, they don't see it that. No, he's not white. White. His dad is black. His mom is Asian. Okay, that's what it is. Sorry, yeah. Asian. So right. him, like for him, again, once, once you yeah, black, black and ease. you black. <laughs> black and ease. <laughs> I'm black and ease. Once you black, you black. You got a drop of it in you. You black. black. I like fried rice with my chicken. Oh, oh let me stop. Stop y'all. it. See? <laughs> let me stop. We love no, our Asian brothers. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Can, I, can I turn my back on myself? Yes. Can I turn, can my you, back on? turn your back on yourself. We love because our Asian you were turning your back on us last week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that this joint podcast. What did he just say? But, but, okay. Never mind. Next next what? video. Next we, video. We love our Asian brothers. And yes, we love our Asian brothers. And we're still going to shoot 100th episode with in, in uh, Chinatown, Chinatown. <laughs> this Chinatown. Podcast, the thoughts, views, <laughs> and opinions of my colleagues what? are not shared what? by the entire cast of this show. All I can say, we're going to be in Chinatown. What? I didn't say nothing wrong. I'm, yeah. been, I'm being good this that week. Sounds, I'm being good this week. Like I, I had my bad week last week. Like Why, last why week. we ain't filming in <laughs> Africa Town, <laughs> Bro, we don't... I'm, no, you trying to go to the hood? Hey. <laughs> Yeah, Hold up. Look, we all guys talked about <laughs> I'm this new on podcast, y'all. We, 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 we be in the hood. Look, we be in the hood. Then it's like, sh- I just give me that mic. Shots in the background. <laughs> shots in the background, goddamn. Like, what, yo? <laughs> oh, man, listen. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Woo. Tell us what you think. Comment.